So often people say, why don't you weigh things? Well, we're gonna weigh this today. So here we have a zeroed out scale. Let's see what this big platter weighs. Again, cause we can't really see, we're just gonna hit tear. And now we're looking at 15.4 pounds. Jeez Louise. Hey everyone, Joel Anson here, and today we're in Dearborn, Michigan, yes, Dearborn, Michigan, basically Detroit, outside. Noah's Smokehouse, guys. So it's really cold out today, so I'm gonna talk quick, but here we are doing a giant barbecue challenge. So I was here doing a massive barbecue challenge here before, and they said, hey Joel, you beat that, can you beat this? So here they have an even bigger barbecue challenge. I think it's like almost 14 pounds of barbecue, which is insane. Basically a rib focus. I know it is a uh, Saturday, so we're gonna have lovely, lovely short ribs, which is an item they only have once a week, very exclusive. They have back ribs. I know there's brisket on it, which is my favorite. Um, I think there's burgers, wings. There's so much stuff, but anyway, head on in, I'll get you those exact details. I know we are gonna have one hour to complete the challenge in order to get it for free. Uh, the estimated value, I think, is 200 bucks or something close to that, which is amazing, but scary and daunting because, like I said, 13 plus pounds of food, so that's insane, but anyway, let's head on in. I'm freezing, let's go eat some food, have some fun, and let's go eat some delicious, delicious barbecue. Everyone, so we're here with all the food. It looks absolutely delicious, looks absolutely amazing, and huge, to say the least, just huge, huge, huge. So we have a whole, yes, a whole short rib here, which is a special on Saturdays. We have a full beef rib rack. I have a Noah's burger. I have the Texan, the sandwich here, which is like a brisket, beer cheese uh, sauce. I have some samosas. Yes, they have a specialty samosas made with brisket, which is amazing. We have some coleslaw and some pickles and onions, not required, but there for taste and preference. I have some of their traditional sauce wings. We have two of their sausages. I have a whole, a whole half a chicken here. I have a big, huge pile of their brisket. We weighed this out, so it literally is over. Yes, over 13 pounds of food, and that is not including the tray. So this is absolutely insane, this is crazy. I am rocking the I Eat Animals content. It's just cold, so I have a sweater on. So check out the joeleats.com, grab yourself some merch today. But yeah, guys, so. 60 minutes, let's get started here, just momentarily. I'm super, super, super excited, as you can see, as you can tell, I love barbecue. It's just like utmost my absolute favorite thing. So um, how about we get started? I don't really know where to start, but we'll start somewhere. Uh, maybe I'll start with uh, the Noah's Burger. This looks, well, I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna start with the brisket, I love brisket. Brisket is always such a delicious looking thing and it's one of my favorites. Oh, look, it just fall, fall apart. All right, so how about we get started? Let's see if we can have five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Ooh, oh man. That fat. Hi everyone. That is too good. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. I got the fatty brisket. And I love it. Oh man. Hey everyone, welcome to this Today we're here at Nose Smokehouse in Dearborn, Michigan, having an absolutely giant barbecue challenge. So this thing, as we said, was over 13 pounds. Yes, that is excluding the tray. The tray was about two-ish pounds. The thing was over 15, you do the math. So in front of us, guys, we had burgers, we had ribs. I walked you through what we had, so I won't do it again. But let's just say this was a lot of food and a lot of very good food. So Nose Smokehouse is Texas barbecue. 
Texas barbecue known for a very simple salt, pepper, heavy smoke. They use oak just like in Texas, one of my favorite all time woods. And then it just literally leads to perfect perfection. They definitely know how to cook some good barbecue here in Dearborn at Noah's. And it's really a treat to have something like this up north. So good. There's some of this chicken. Smoked barbecue chicken. Great sauce on that. I have some of their sauces here too. There's some of the Carolina mustard barbecue sauce. I like it. We did have one hour to complete this challenge and I knew we were going to need every single minute of it. Um, while barbecue is delicious and these were moist, juicy foods, it is a food which requires quite a bit of chewing and does definitely take some time to eat, especially when you have to kind of work around bones, etc. So I knew we would need definitely the time. And the chicken is super juicy. Both well, the white meat and the dark meat. All right, now what we've been waiting for, the ribs. Let's get in these ribs. Two of the beef back ribs, guys. These are so huge. Look at that bone just pulled right out of that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, oh. Oh man, so good. Oh. That is just perfectly rendered. Oh. I had these before, but I forgot how good they were. As I mentioned, I was here before and I did about an 11 pound barbecue challenge, which I'll post that video in a comment down below so you can check that out after. Absolutely amazing. Look at that piece of brisket. I'm gonna save it. <laughs> and they do put the uh, signature sauce on the uh, back ribs here. Barbecue is also quite a difficult food to eat because it's very rich. It's very rich, it's very filling. Um, you know, the meats can be quite fatty, but like in a good, delicious way. And everything, as you can tell, was just like fall off the bone, tender, succulent. Um, so I did have some sauces, some pickles and stuff to kind of help break up that richness, kind of assist in the eating, I guess, that you could say. The whole, I don't know, seven, six, whatever minutes we've been eating could all just be careless whisper. Guys, this is so fantastic. Man, I love good barbecue. Texas style barbecue. I tell you, Noah's really does it right. It's just like, So juicy. So fatty. A lot of food though. It's gone quick because it's so much and juicy about. Doesn't mean there's a shortage. Woo. But I'm really curious your favorite item on this platter. I definitely love ribs and brisket. Beef is my favorite. So comment down below your favorite barbecue item here on the platter. Maybe it's ribs, maybe it's, you know, hashtag burgers. Let me know down below. But seriously, as you can tell, this is a big, big, big platter. We're definitely going to need some luck to finish this. So if we can do this, we'll have to tune on in and find out. So with that, let's get to the rest of the video. That is so delicious. We're coming out about 10 minutes in. It's too good. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. We have so much food still left in front of us. That's kind of daunting. Like we barely made it through anything, so. Better, better keep eating. But man, this is delicious.
Yo, I think I forgot a fork and a knife, but... I'm using my hands for everything else, especially for this, too. Oh, man. That coleslaw... Onions, some pickles... Delicious, really nice way to kind of break it up a little bit. I just finished off this brisket. Mm. Oh man. Woo. Oh, I forgot how good that was. Now we have the short rib. So I didn't try the short rib before. Guys, this is heavy. Oh look. Just literally fall right off the bone. Oh boy. All right, we are in for a bit of, oh, oh my God. Look how moist and fatty that looks. Oh my God. That is literally like butter. Look how, wow. That is rich and savory, guys. Woo! Literally just like butter, though. See that just pulled out? That is just nuts. Like this is like literally, like I said guys, this is closer to butter than meat. Absolutely insane. Oh, all right. Definitely filling up though. A lot of food. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, there's some air out of me. Coleslaw, great addition. Let's get into some of these sandwiches and burgers. We have the Texan guys, brisket, beer cheese, and sauce. Nice bun, too. Try to move back a little bit. Food. You're pretty much close, yeah. You get that. I tried though. Dude, I think the short was more like butter than me. <laughs> it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely delicious. Can I buy you for uh, another Diet Coke maybe? Sure. And uh, I'll take another warm water like that. Thanks, man. Alright, buddy, make it our way. We have the No Burger. So there's some chaber, jalapenos, greens, some cheese. We also have brisket on this one. Sauce with, of course, the beef patty. Mm. Nice flavor. That combo. The way you get a little bit of everything. And the jalapenos really like add an acidity to kind of cut that richness. Surprising amount of spice on that burger. 
but like just enough that you get that nice burn, that feel. But it's surprising about. Let's try some of these brisket filled samosas. The others I'm, I'm not used to seeing. Ooh. Oh, that's actually amazing. There's some spices in there, some onions. So I wasn't sure what to expect. I definitely still get the samosa aspect, but it's like, I get barbecue. I like it. Smokes are gone. Actually, super impressive. And things really good not barbecue sauce too, guys. Get these wings. That's some of the wings before. And they had a really, they have a really spicy wing chow too. That's what I tried. Whew. So. Excuse me. Mario, try it not so spicy. Let's give him a go. Oh yeah. That's a good chicken wing. I'll put the video with the Carolina Reaper wing challenge they have here down below. I was also here for a uh, big barbecue challenge previously. I'll also put that down below. Delicious, but man, there's a lot of food. Whew. Heavy. I think of barbecue too, guys. Very rich, very heavy meats. Very filling. I was trying to clean up the bits and I got a bit of bone.
Crazy one, buddy. This is huge. So much food. These herbs are delicious, but man, they are rich. Woo. We are finished. Woo! Well, that was a lot of food, guys, but damn, that was good. I don't know what's all, we'll see what time it is there. It's like uh, about 37 and a half minutes. Took a bit longer than I expected, but I tell you, oh, very, very delicious. I will double check that that's good, but woo! Very delicious, guys. Can't say enough. I want to give a huge thanks to No One Smokehouse. Yes, guys. No One's is great. Seriously, like my, I, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite restaurants in Michigan. People are great, the food is great. So while I've had some of those items in the past, the brisket is just as good as I remember. I love brisket. The back ribs were absolutely fantastic, like I remember. I gotta say, those short ribs are just insane. Just, oh my gosh, insane. There is so, so, so much richness to those. It's literally like eating butter. Like one is enough. One bone is definitely enough. But like I said, guys, for that, we do get meal free, which is pretty cool. Oh man, Woo. That was crazy. Crazy amount of food. Crazy delicious. So there you go, guys. The biggest barbecue challenge in Michigan. They really tried to one-up me, and they, I tell you what, that was, uh, this challenge almost one-up me, that's for sure. But I want, of course, until next time, say happy to the hungry, happy eating. If you're ever in the area, Dearborn, Detroit area, definitely stop on by. And that's next time, have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.